Okay, so now we're going on to PHP and uh, MySQL. Um, and, you know, I feel just a little bit guilty right now. Um, and what do I feel guilty about? I feel guilty that I can't show you, well, I suppose I could. Um, I could, can't show you, or I'm not going to show, do a video tutorial on installing MAMP. Now, I think it's so easy. Uh, well, I won't say it's so easy. You never know with, at any rate, uh, if I have to uninstall it and reinstall it, it has worked so well for so long, I'm just reluctant to uninstall it, okay? But the good news is, this is probably the best system and the easiest, the quickest to configure. You, you don't have to do really any configurations. And configurations and settings when it comes to databases and really programming in general can be the hardest thing, can be one of the hardest things. Again, starting point configurations can be the most difficult and frustrating thing because you might not do them again, right? Or you do them rarely. So hey, you guys, you've got to get MAMP installed. But not right now, I'm going to give you kind of a brief overview of it, etc. So after you've gotten it installed, and in a second, we'll go to their website and look at, you know, you don't need MAMP Pro. You don't need MAMP Pro. At least, you probably don't if you're a beginner. If you're watching this video, you don't need it. Okay, so here's Start Servers. This is more to give you an overview rather than... Well, actually, there are a few points. There's a few little buggy things or a little, few little things that you, you probably want to know when you start off. Okay, sometimes it will open the Web Start page automatically, but since I had turned mine off, here it says, okay, it started MySQL, started Apache. So it'll uh, install Apache for you, install MySQL. Let's open this Web Start page. Um, okay. I was installed a long time ago, not right now. But at any rate, then <clears throat> when you get to this web start page, you can go here and you can look at PHP your, for your, your settings, your information. And then perhaps just as important, maybe more important, is PHP My Admin. Let's take a look at that. Um, this uh, this will help you set up databases and manage databases. Um, almost everybody uses it. I think it's wonderful. It's awesome. Okay, so here you have data. We're, in a later video, we're going to uh, go through um, exactly how to set up a database in PHP My Admin. Um, so you can look at the structure of your databases. Here's some tables, an apartment table. Um, you can go, you can drill down into that. Um, you know, you can look at the different uh, columns here. Here's my ID number, one bedroom, okay, the pictures of the apartments, districts, all the different things. Um, okay, you can create a new database. Now, here's something. Uh, what is this localhost? Well, localhost is a word which corresponds to this IP address. Okay, 127.0.0.1. And this is a reserved IP address Technically, it's called a loopback address. And really, what it means is it's just the IP address we use on our local computer when we do our development, right? Um, so that we can test this as though it were a real website. And MAMP, MAMP so when you see an IP address followed by a colon and then some numbers, these numbers here, whoopsie, Oops, 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 oops. Okay, these numbers here, 888, that is the port number. So that's where MAMP, when you're on, when you go on MAMP, or if uh, here, 
you can see we're doing our development looking at this web page um, you need to go to 888 it's MAMP's default port um, you can check around in here in preference etc I think you can change it uh, etc um, okay now let's say okay you want to install it right so you can search for MAMP so MAMP stands for uh, Macintosh Apache MySQL and then the P is for Python or PHP or Perl okay now they also have if you have a Windows machine you can also look for WAMP WAMP is also terrific okay so go to downloads um so here mac os windows so you'll install mamp and mamp pro and they will be in your applications but you just you won't be able to use mamp pro okay you won't be able to use it but you don't need it you don't need it at least if you're watching this video you don't need it um uh here's some different php versions um so if you follow the basic download process it will it should it normally does uh get you everything you need to get going right with apache and mysql um so again you guys hey go ahead and search on youtube if you need a video to help walk you through it um it's very important to get it installed uh, I think it's totally awesome again I apologize for not creating a video that goes through those you know the different configuration things and there there aren't too many with this okay there, there really aren't um, but because there's so many different operating systems out there and every everyone's operating system in some way has a slight difference just because of the nature of the programs you've installed I mean with a few exceptions okay with a few exceptions so I apologize for that it's um, and okay all right good enough